guys, I'm disappointed in myself, but it is about 100 degrees out here. Got a lot of movies I'm reviewing and the like because I don't know how much free time I got on my hand here. I've got a stand-up comedy one hour in an actual theater to do. Got to be prepping for that. Got to knock out as many of these reviews as I can. And honestly, I don't think I can run for you guys here. Um, it's hot. I've got some orange juice, well, orange soda. About the same healthiness, honestly, if you look up the facts. I don't even know how interested in this movie you're going to be, but on Netflix from 2018, there is a Day of the Dead remake. This is another remake. Actually, the previous remake with Nick Cannon and Bing Rames not playing the role he played in Dawn of the Dead. Had a pretty high budget, never really saw the light of day in theaters. And it was shit. Ah. This is just as bad. It's not good. It's not worth checking out. Uh, everybody involved with this is probably ashamed of their life choices. Uh, but, you know, it's new. It involves zombies. It's really after the zombie shit had jumped the shark here. And I think everybody knows it. But, uh, you got this science chick, that's just what I'm going to call her. She, she's on the picture that appears on, on Netflix, and she's the main reason why I checked this movie out. Because I'm like, whoa. People are going to watch this movie just because of this picture of this chick in the sports bra jogging. She's a redhead, but they try to keep that low-key. And, uh, she's a science broad, sitting in a university. Some guy comes in, she has to try to determine how he died pass fails it then there's a party afterwards and that guy comes back to life and starts biting people and as he bites people more people are becoming zombies and it's just chaos and everybody's losing their family cut to like three years later she seems to be the sole survivor in the area but there's military installations set up she lives in the base nothing happens that's nearly as memorable as the 85 film this wasn't anybody's baby. This wasn't anything anybody cared about. They just wanted a zombie movie. There were some shots where, like, they had some pretty decent-looking zombie puppets, like, with their faces half missing. But, you know, Science Chick has this plan to go back to her university because it's the one set they could get access to, other than this underground bunker, where she knows of there being a guy who had, like, a lot of antibodies. Or, well, no, she wants to get some medication to help some sick girl. I've got bug bites all over my leg. I'm, I'm going to post a picture on Instagram. It's going to suck. Oh, but this guy that was a stalker she was drawing blood from wrote her name Zoe on his arm. It's the only way I remember her name now. He's there. So he was like an early zombie. But he's not full zombie. He has a lot of control over himself. And he just hung out in that area waiting for it to come back for three years below me. That's an awful idea. So I'm expected to believe this, right? Oh, but that's not enough. They capture him, bring him in. They got the, the stuff to help the sick girl because they're worried that there's going to be influenza breakout, even though it's highly unlikely. They cure her, but the... Uh, well, no, they don't actually capture this guy. He, he like, stalks her. She, he comes to her place... Uh, hides under the car, rolls out, attacks some guys in the bush like Jason Voorhees, like Halloween Part 5 or, or 6 or something, 7. No, not 7, probably 5 or 6. He does that bit. They've got, uh, it was probably Part 6, but... Uh, anyways, uh... Yeah, maybe... Shit, I lost count. The, the one without the, all the naked people, it's like that Jason. But... Any, anyways, um, yeah, he's walking around the bunker taking some people out, takes up the mom of the sick girl, and then the, uh, eventually they capture him, they tie him up to the wall, and they're kind of treating him like, what was his name, like Ed or something in the 1985 film? The zombie, they were training up to be human, like they could train, it was kind of an interesting take on the zombie, like can they, can they be domesticated? No, not so interesting here, it's like, hey, there's something special about this guy, he just has a lot of antibodies, he has a high midichlorian count. Screw them. So that's what we got out of this this villain, right? Oh, but the guy running the base, his brothers into uh, scientist chick, and they're hooking up. The guy running the base, he looked kind of familiar. He's from the Doom Generation, that film, 1995. Greg Araki, right? 
I think he had to hook up with uh, Rose McGowan pre-crazy, which she wasn't too bad to look at. You know, when she was like the next big thing, and then she got derailed, as she thinks. By Harvey Weinstein, sure. Yeah, okay. More like you played ball, you slept with him, now you're calling it rape. That's oh, But I wasn't there, I can't judge, me too. So, um, swatting at some more bugs. Yeah, the guy running the base is actually right about everything. Hey, we don't we need this experiment here. Oh, but maybe we can come up with a vaccine to stop people from turning into zombies. Okay, fine, work on it, whatever. He's lenient, even though this bitch causes a lot of problems and gets a lot of people killed. And besides, the vaccine is garbage. You have the vaccine now because there's this black chick complaining that she got bit? Nope, too bad. Got to shoot her. Now, he's not remorseful about it. He's getting shit done. That's the way the military needs to do things. Get it done. Follow orders. This isn't a cheerocracy, right? He's getting things done. You know what? So what if this vaccine works? Everybody that's getting bit in this movie is getting half their neck torn off. They're going to bleed out anyways. This isn't Carl from The Walking Dead survive the bite. No bite mark. It's getting flesh torn off and you're bleeding to death. Do you even become a zombie at this point? Because from what I'm seeing, these people aren't really reanimating. Well, okay, so eventually it's like just her, the little girl, guy with all the hair. I think they call him Baca because they want to like get you to think, oh, hey, he's like Chewbacca. He's hairy. Hey, I've seen Star Wars. You've seen Star Wars. I guess you like this movie now. Dumbass filmmakers of today. Yeah, so this shit's going down. Main, uh, the guy, the lieutenant ahead of the base. Like, why is it just a lieutenant? Like, shit. You never get a sense of where the rest of the world is. You don't really have any action. You have the start of some kind of chase scene that goes nowhere. The firefight's nothing. CGI blood. Characters you really couldn't give two shits really about. I think a black guy might have survived, who had a, some semblance of a character. By the way, the black chick that dies, here's how you don't write a movie, guys. You know, everybody's talking about what they miss, you know, trying to give some character development in this world. She says, I miss Maggie's place, diner. And she either said in, outside Wichita or from Wichita. Guess where I live, next to a guy named Wichita. Guess what there isn't around here, a, a Maggie's place. Try to just make, find a map, Find a location, ask Google, use a Yelp review, and plug some actual diner. Shit. Action chick, her buddy, her, her bow gets bit. He's gonna turn, but she luckily has the vaccine. But she has to take out the uh, stalker zombie. So she hides in some soil, jumps out of it, and stabs him, and has the big fight. This, this is trying to, to ride the girl power. Girls do everything in this movie. The guys are completely useless, gross, sick, the cause of all problems. Girls are either the victim to the guy being a douche or, or whatever. In this case, she's not the victim. She's the strong heroine. She, she survives. It, it even does everything. It's Mary Sue as goddamn Ray. Has the vaccine, gives it to her boyfriend. He's cool. Ta-da. Movie. Where do you think I'm going with this, guys? One out of four stars. You gotta rate it something, right?